Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good... Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But, it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But... It changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that. Fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. I didn't consider who he was, what he felt. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. It doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, 
It breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Louis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis. I mean it. Just... Believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. Okay, I'll try. What if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Oh, oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it.
Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. the walkers. Use them as shields. the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover, but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. The guns are coming off. Stay close. Stay hidden. AJ? Walkers incoming!
We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Many said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Check this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. go, Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back.
Lewis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again, or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Violet, come on. Fuck off. We're not staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How are you holding up? Lily... She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier she came down to talk. Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me.
Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Minnie, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? 
She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You! You brainwashed her! You people are fucking I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see. I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still. No, 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 please! Come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I want for these the people to seem friendly doing? enough. You're Don't gonna get us like all you killed. understand what happened. <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just 
fucking go! We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I can... Uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a You'll room. You'll come around too, once Found you see one more what we have to sneaking over the docks. Plenty of food, comfortable beds. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee. Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine, go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry, too. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! 
Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die! Do it, AJ! No. AJ, stop! Find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead. Shit, the bomb. AJ! sorrow cast out in this wide world to roam uncertain of life for tomorrow I want to make heaven my home sometimes I am tossed and driven sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven I'm striving to make it my home